okay, let's bring this baby home. I was a landlord who had a tenant, the same tenant for 12 years. Around year 10, she stopped paying rent. The world was in a pandemic, so the courts shut down. And the system said she had rights, tenant rights, to sit there in heat and water and comfort while I footed her bills for one year and a half. And then the world decided to try and right itself. The courts reopened and I, without a lawyer, filed for eviction. I won, all was fair, or some version of it. Until September 8th, 2021, the day of the eviction. In short, my tenant Molly whopped my ish. Her main weapon of choice, the damn water I was forced to keep on. And then there was the raw chicken and the pork chops and the tens and twenties of raw sausage rolls she rolled down the vents, along with lard and yogurt and beans and mayo. Who even has that much mayo? Turns out I was better than blessed because my insurance policy covered it all. This is the finale. This is the nine month journey it took to put my house back together. This is how the story ends. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Okay, so look, today is Saturday, June 25th, June 25th. So let's say this, right? As y'all know, we have an offer on the house. The offer is for $385. We listed the house at $360. The offer is at $385. And they put in a $5,000 appraisal contingency. Of, not contingency, but an appraisal gap. I don't know what the word is. But basically what that means is if the house appraises for less than $385, they're willing to pay up to $5,000 um, to add on. So let's say like if the house appraised for $380 they're willing to pay that extra 5000 to make it 385 If it appraises for 375 there's it's 5000 so the most we can get is 380 right? So I say all of that to say everything is dependent on this appraisal. Everything depends on the appraisal. The appraisal is today. Today the house is being appraised. And let me see my agent sent me a text message basically saying good morning the appraiser is coming today I'm sure it will go well and I'm going to provide him the market data showing the demand for your house to solidify our contract price so she says that in the past she has put together these um, market what she call it the market data she says in the past she has put it together the market data and it, she has found success doing that that it has um helped with the appraisal um she says because the appraisers do their job like you don't want to necessarily offend them by kind of doing their job for them by saying like here 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 so they're not ever looking for that but usually when you can provide things that they can't get like they can get the age of the roof they can get the age of the appliances the age of the structure the age of and the condition of the things within the home as well as what the home includes right they can get that but some of the things that they don't have is like the market data um and so again fingers crossed that the house appraises for 385 and or more that would be super super dope the house next door sold for 374 I believe it was and the reason why it was 374 is because it actually sold for more but they actually um, was able to renegotiate after the appraisal came in because it appraised for less than what they purchased it for and so that was 374 so we know that at the very least my house can appraise for 374 at the very least but I do know that my home the only thing the house next door has that my home doesn't has it has a balcony right but then they also discovered that the balcony was not built to code nor were the proper permits pulled that's the only thing but my house is a different floor plan than that next door house I actually believe my floor plan is better 
and also what my house has that the other house doesn't have is it has the whole wet bar situation in the basement plus the fireplace in the basement um other than that everything else i believe is the same outside of some materials some of the materials you know when i say that i mean like the different floors like we have different flooring in the house um i know that their countertops are different in the house i have laminate they have like a granite i believe it's a granite so little things like that but i also have a new roof that house didn't have a new roof and i also have like a new hvac system that house didn't have a new hvac system so we will see we shall see but that's where we are right now we are still marching toward july 7th y'all we are still marching toward closing july 7th all right guys so we are today is another day and basically we got some more information to the title company i had to sign some documents and send that to them so that they can pay off the loan on my behalf do title searches all of that good stuff so we did that i also ordered the hoa package yesterday um which was pretty cool it cost like 295 to order the package first he said order the package with the um inspection hoa inspection and then i questioned i sent him an email back i said should i order the package with the hoa inspection because to me that sounds like that will take time for them to be able to arrange an inspection plus we don't want to know about no dings we don't care about no dings so i was like that don't sound right i said why can't i just order the hoa package because i know when i bought the house i didn't have an inspection i just they blah 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 so he was like oh yeah i was gonna call you and tell you that mm -hmm. so i just ordered the hoa package now here's the thing though it asked me when was the closing date so yeah so the closing date was july 7th and um and so basically when i put that in they said oh you have to pay an extra hundred dollars for a rush order to have it for free, they said a closing date would have been after July 21st. So you know what? I was like, I'm not even mad at it. If this is a rush order, this is a rush order because July 7th it is. So I paid that $100. So it came to like three something. And um, and then that was that. That was yesterday. Y'all, why today? Already, I got the email saying it's ready. Y'all didn't need no rush order. So it's ready. The HOA package is ready to be delivered to the new owner. So, so far, everything is still going smoothly. That's all the updates. That's the updates. Bye. Oh, that's a good question. So, speculation. Did they get approved? Is everything going through? I don't know. All I know is so far, everything is moving forward because they wouldn't tell me to order these things. And the title company wouldn't start contacting me unless it seemed to be like a... You know, there's no showstoppers just yet. So I'm just looking at all of this as good, positive signs. So that's what I'm thinking. Y'all, we are still marching towards the 7th. Today is July 5th. Two more days. Two more days. <laughs> so basically, today... Some more papers were sent over to me to sign. Um, it's like some corrections and stuff were made um, to the contract. So I guess that means it's going through, right? Is that what that means? And they said that they got the HOA documents and stuff to all the people they needed to get to. The title company even reached out to me today to ask a question. They asked me, how long have I haven't been living in Maryland? And I told them 2009. And then I was like, if you don't mind, why? I want to know why. I was like, because I'm trying to learn as much as possible about what's happening. And she basically said that. Um, if you haven't lived in Maryland for X amount of years or whatever, then they have to withhold the title company has to also withhold the taxes. Ooh. So yeah, so I was like, all right, hopefully, whew. I don't know what them taxes are going to be looking like y'all. I really don't, but I'm excited because it's two more days. I think that by now we would know, right? We would know if things were falling apart. I wonder what the house appraised for. Let me text, um the real estate agent and ask her question did the appraisal come back I'm curious about that y'all but um that's where we at y'all 
two more days. July 7th. I just thought about that. 7-7. Seven, seven. Isn't that poetic? Isn't that a beautiful number? 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven. Seven, seven. Wow. Lucky. Y'all. We are not closing tomorrow. <sighs> My agent just called me and the appraisal just came back today. Today, the 6th of July, and it did not appraise for what we anticipated, y'all. It only appraised for 355. 355. Don't even know why it appraised for so low. Mm -hmm.